A grainy video capturing the vibrant street life of Nasiusk, Poland in 1938, taken by author Glenn Kurtz's vacationing grandparents, has bound together some South Floridians who have found their relatives in the rare film reel. Kurtz found the three-minute video in a cardboard box in his parents' Palm Beach Gardens home in 2009. Kurtz donated the deteriorating footage to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum, which restored it and posted it online, allowing relatives to identify their ancestors. When I found the film, I knew immediately that I wanted to try and preserve it. In the end, I chose the Holocaust Museum to deposit it because the facilities were simply better and the Holocaust Museum would be able to make the film available. By making the film available to a larger public, you never know who might see it. Leslie Swift, the museum's chief of film, oral history, and recorded sound, said Kurtz rescued the video just before it would have been unwatchable due to decomposition. Jews from Nasielsk in central Poland were deported by the Nazis a year after Kurtz's grandparents' visit. According to the museum, only about 80 of the 3,000 Jews survived the war. Kurtz tells the story behind the 16 millimeter color video and the genealogical detective work that consumed him for four years as he researched Nasielsk and its descendants in his new book, Three Minutes in Poland. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Matthew Harron.